the dusty streets of Soweto to Kayalicha, the playgrounds of Guguletu to the classrooms of Ntanzani, to the beaches from Durban to Komiki. Children of South Africa without suitable sports facilities are exposed to the benefits of sport, exercise and a nutritional, hygienic lifestyle. By South Africa's leading sports development organization, Sporting Chance. Sporting Chance started in 1990. Um, my idea was I'd played cricket for 10 years overseas and I'd, I'd observed international trends and I'd gone to America to study marketing concepts. And when I came back to South Africa, I wanted to make sure that every um, uh, program that we put in place was of an international standard. And subsequently, I launched uh, Sporting Chance on the 1st of September 1990. And it offers sport to all kids, regardless of, of ability, regardless of, of um, the financial background, regardless of creed. And what it is, it just gives everyone an opportunity to be exposed to professional coaching in a structured environment, which is something that I've believed in to make sure that if we wanted to bring sporting talent through our country and through our systems uh, throughout South Africa, it had to be done properly. The biggest single achievement I have had is not producing the sporting people that have come through the system. It's creating as many children as possible to create a love for sport and to a love for life and a love to lead a healthy and active life. Every clinic, so you get to see them. And 
I enjoy about it that you are able to stay fit and do something in the holidays that's creative? Well, it's a really fun thing to do in the holidays with your friends and meet new people, and it's um, nice to um, just get out of your house and fit in the up a little bit to stay fit and stuff. It keeps you, um, keeps you really fit, and you, you learn new skills every time you come here. Well, it's a good way to get like outside and be fit and just have fun.